up, Wedding Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Roroni Kenshin Hokkaido Arc Chapter 1. Oh my god, I have been waiting for this manga. You guys have no idea. I binge read the hell out of Roroni Kenshin, I would say back in June or July, to get ready for this manga. I am so fucking excited. Anyway, let's get into this chapter and see what happens next. I'm so interested because how Baroni Kenshin ended, I didn't think there would be another arc. I didn't think it needed it. In the 11th year of the Meiji, a swordsman calling himself a Baroni drifted through Tokyo. And this is the, te oh, this is the 10 year anniversary, our six new series. Um... That man bur uh, burdened by, uh, in the Meiji um, 11, it says here, is equals to 1878. Um, that man burdened by the weight of, of the countless lives he'd taken laid down his blood-drenched sword and took up both a, a vow to never kill and reversed a uh, bladed sword, the sock bot toe, uh, with the godspeed of his um, hidden Mitsuru wait, Mitsurugi style, he fought with countless enemies and arch enemies to save the less fortunate and it says here his vow to um his so to his sock bateau and memories of soul re uh weaving fierce battles and now five years later the stage for his next saga lies to the north hokkaido Ooh. 18 years later the strongest swordsman of the bakumatsu the killing Roroni, uh, a new chapter in his tale begins. A Meiji swordsman's romance, Hokkaido arc, a legend revived. Wow. Okay, first of all, we got to talk about this artwork. This artwork is freaking stunning. Especially in, on, um, hold on a second. Especially here, when we're seeing the, uh, Basically, the um, the history of Kenshin. It is so beautiful. Oh my god, this artwork looks awesome. Act 1, Meiji 11, Kamiya Dojo. Ooh, let's get to this, guys. It says here on the side, and this is the translation note, Kinkaku um, uh, Kushimichi Koji. Hmm. Our story begins here. <gasps> the anniversary of a father's death. Father died in the Satsuma Rebellion, leaving me alone with this dojo. Miss Karu! Oh my god, she looks so good! That was six years ago, but do not worry, father. The Kamiya Kashin Dojo has been pretty lively as of late. Oh, look at that! Alan, um, Ashitaro, where the hell are you two? So very lively indeed. What is the matter, Yagiko? Yagiko! Oh my god, Yagiko! Yo, those two newbies are playing hooky again. Look at him! He looks so good! Want me to help you look for them? Nah, it's okay. Play with Kenji, uh, um, Karo. Mm. There you are. Yep. Get over here. Yep. <laughs> I like how he's like, yep. <laughs> Alan. <gasps> Alan! Oh my god, I almost forgot about Alan. Oh my god, I just remembered who Alan is. He came back. Oh my god, Alan is so handsome. Look at him. And you, you know, I can I'm a sucker for blondes. But look how, oh man, he looks so good. I thought he was, I thought, remember in the arc, uh, in the manga, this was a while back in the manga. Um, they said that he was not going to be able to hold a sword again. But I guess he is. I'm the poster child of West, uh, westernization. I see his victories and brain, with brains and theory. Secret teachings, Kamiya Caution style. What? That? That's the secret techniques manual for our Kamiya Caution school written by father. I thought I kept it in the drawer under the altar. How did he? 
You little, how dare you sneak into a husband and wife's room? <laughs> yes! I never stooped to such um, base means. Exceedingly equitable and harmonious negotiations with my dear Kenji, I obtained this manual. Raising kids the right way is hard as hell. <laughs> Mommy, you can have this one. Oh my god, this is literally a continuation. The kids are, I thought this was going to take place like in between or some shit. But no, this is a flat out continuation. Wow, I am so freaking stoked. I'm so happy Alan's here. I will show you that training and practice are entirely super, uh, superfluous. Wait. Superfluous for a prodigy, uh, prodigious, prodigious learning learner like myself. Now I challenge you. God, Alan, Alan is so freaking hot. Kamiya Kenshin style ultimate technique, sword halt. Kamiya Kenshin basic technique, one hand strike. <laughs> might be in order. This is Alan Imwa. What the? Um, he's a mixed heritage. His father is a white man. Yes, he is. Um, has a previous co uh, conviction for, or attempted smuggling. A few things happen and he's been a uh, living student of the dojo for a few days now. Um, it's been five years since he joined the dojo. He's now the assistant master. <gasps> yeah, he goes the assistant master. Uh, Hard-headed, impertinent, and competitive as ever. Get up already. This is my son, Kenji Himura. He'll be the third master of this dojo's, uh, dojo. Someday, I hope at least. We're going to save the rest for tomorrow, okay? Oh, look at him. It appears Sir Alan isn't the best at using his body, is he? Kitchen! It's Kitchen! Oh my god! Kenshin! Oh my god! Kenshin Himura! My husband! Oh, he, he loves it! She's saying it's her husband! Oh! Oh, uh, Capito, huh? I, may I have one? Boo! And Kenji's father! He's the unkilling Roroni that wandered his way here five years ago. A lot happened. And I mean... A lot! Look at that! I love this! I, I love seeing the flashbacks like going on in the panels. That is so cool. He's given his uh, Zappa toe over to Yahiko, but with the Japanese cane, he always carries in one um, carries in one hand. And his Godspeed sword, the Hitsun um, Mitsurugi style, he continues to fight for those in peril. He gave the Zappa toe to Yahiko. If this was in the if this was in the manga, I can't remember because again, it has been a long ass time since I've read this manga. Kenshin, Yai, uh, Yaiko, this girl isn't a student at the dojo here, rather. And who might you be? You can call me uh, Alan Ima, or I see. Why don't we get to know each other over some coffee or, um, well. <laughs> Could be a uh, Kassen style, basic technique, two-handed strike. She's the Bee Pot restaurant. Um, 
Akabiko's poster girl, Subumi Sanjo. Uh, Yahiko's, well, they're close. <laughs> it's the only girl they got together! Oh, da, the, they got together! I'm shipping them! I'm shipping them! I want to know if you're shipping them too. Th there's trouble. Ashitaro's. Ashitaro? Perfect. I was just looking for that brat. Uh, for the brat. Ashitaro's fighting with the police. Woo! Okay. I want to talk about Ashitaro right here. He. Damn. He is fine. Look at him. Damn. Ashitaro. Ooh, okay, another thing I'm a sucker for, and I, I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this before. If I have, I'm sorry. I, I've totally forgotten. I am a sucker for spiky hair, especially naturally spiky hair like that. Oh, man. Do not let him set up a tab. <laughs> aren't you? And I feel like I found you collapsed at our back door. Miss, what does that say? Huh? Oh, do not let him set up a tab. Let me guess. Uh, let me guess. Boy, can you not read? Read and don't, read and don't put food in your, in your tummy. If you're going out on bounties, yes, it will put food in your tummy if you can read. Grr. Oh, hungry are we? No money either, I take it? Mm, well, welcome, welcome, will be. <laughs> of course he's working. What will it be indeed? Wait a sec, you, you're that rice ball girl. That's, uh, you're that rice ball girl. That's how you remember me? I tried to disguise myself, but instead went for a makeover and changed my clothes and hairstyle, and you still, still call me that? Horrible. It's Asashi. Asashi. Whoops. Asahi. I'm sorry. I fucked that up. Asahi. Asahi. I based this outfit on a popular girls' school uniform. Isn't it so pretty? It's got that Western feel, you know. Oh. I, oh. Well, it's, uh, well, it, uh, suits this bead pop place. I, is that so? So you're, um, part of the staff here, staff here now, huh? Nope, part-time. Looking for your next bite to eat as always, huh? <laughs> he got whacked! You're in my way. A bee pop or two and chilled sake. Now move it. Gotcha. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Well, I'm glad both of, um, of, uh, you've managed to get out of, out of there. Our new age has finally come. I hope we'll both enjoy delicious things. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm going to eat my belly full. Now then, it's been a while, hasn't it, um, Asahi? I believe we haven't seen each other since I sent you off to work under Shishio and his men, no? I just realized... Hold on a second. Let's go bug me. Oh my god. So you've been alive this whole time, time, eh? Why didn't you write? The rest of the guys came back and left on new jobs. If I went back to the, that village in the mountains, I'd never be able to save up even a cent. It'd um, all fall into the village coffers. So I stayed out of, these, uh, out of the village these past five years to save it up. My betrothal price at 200, um, all 200 yen of it. Um, so you're trying to buy your, buy yourself, wait, so you're trying to buy yourself just so you can leave the village? I'm grateful that uh, you all raised um, a casualty. Wait, yeah, I'm grateful that you all raised a casualty of war like me. But it's been 18 years since the new Meiji era has a Meiji age has begun. This 200 yen is the price of my freedom. Check it. 
It says here the current value for the 200 yen is 4 million yen or $40,000 for those that are curious. No need. Your patrol the patrol price, that is. Your market price is clearly listed here. So Asahi uh, Kuboto rent 200 yen, purchase 2,000 yen. Read and check it for yourself. 200 yen. Read it for real, trying to play the idiot. But I was told it was 200. The book of accounts does not lie. But they told me, yo, your order. Oi, boy. Um, perfect timing. Uh, Read it and tell me. Per, uh, perfect timing. How many yen does it say she's worth? Read it and tell me. You can't fucking read. I couldn't care less. If she says 200, it's 200. <laughs> yeah. If you lot are grumbling about money, I'll call Alan. He's pretty smart. He should. Oh! He got whacked in the face! Your idiotic bullshit has been getting on my nerves for a while now. And the both of you can't. Wait. And the both of you can't read? An idiot. An in, an idiot in the flesh. Ashitaro. Asahi, 2,000 yen isn't an amount that anyone can just save up easily. I don't know who it was that told you of what they uh, what they did, but they were probably just trying to console you. That, this is so messed up. Idiots are easily fooled. An idiot that can't read shouldn't be getting all giddy about westernization and shit. But no one ever bothered to teach me. But we taught you all the skills you need to serve as a mercenary, didn't we? You would think... You would think mercenaries should know how to read when they have to fucking read their bounty shit. I don't understand. This melodic makes no sense. Come with us. Your next job is far more important than a mere mercenary for Shishio. I, I'm tired of fighting this and killing that. I don't want to burn like that anymore. In this new age, I want to shine. I told you, quit getting all giddy, damn it. How dumb are you? Give it up, a shit-faced idiot that can't read doesn't have the right to choose how she gets to live. Motherfucker, why, why didn't you have someone teach her then? You're not going to stand in my way anymore, and you're not going to stand in hers either. Get him! Step outside. So just as the two started fighting, a group of police officers passed by and... Crap, he's lost all ability to realize who or what he's fighting. Well, no shit, he's just pissed. I don't blame him for being pissed. Because he said the they said the same, they said what he was basically thinking for of what he said earlier. Give, uh, I'm going to read the line again. Give it up, a shit-faced idiot that can't read doesn't have the right to choose how she gets to live. That's, that was the final straw for him. For, um, fuck. It is driving me nuts. Just give me a sec. Um, for, that was the final straw for Ashitaro. Because Ashitaro, if you look back... Uh, at page 16, what he said was, when he says, after what he says, um, miss, what does that say? Huh? Oh, do not let him set up a tab. Let me guess, uh, boy, can't you not read? Read and don't put food in your tummy. So I think when, he, when that motherfucker said that reading, um, An idiot that can't read shouldn't be getting all giddy about westernization and shit. And idiots are easily fooled. Exactly. If you don't know how to read, you're going to get fooled big time. Because, like, uh, for, any, for example, I'm going to go back to, I think it was the first or second great, second awakening. Great awakening. When, yeah, this was, uh, I want to say that. Or, fuck, you could even count by, uh, during the Middle Ages when uh, the churches when people just couldn't fucking read, period, and the churches preached everything. And it's the same thing for slaves. It was the same thing for slaves during the Great Awakenings. They did not, and Indian, the Native Americans as well, they didn't know how to read, so they were fooled easily. They couldn't read the Bible. Um... 
sorry, I'm gonna get back to where I was. I just wanted to mention that because I understand why Ashitaro is pissed because what, again, what was said here, give it up, a shit-faced idiot that can't read doesn't have the right to choose how she gets to live. That was the final straw and I totally fucking understand. And I hope fucking Ashitaro learns how to read. Um, hold on a second. Here we go. Now we're on page 28. This boy is Ashitaro Hasegawa. He's a remnant of Shishio's forces and has a previous conviction for eating without paying. Like Alan, he's a living student at the dojo. I knew the name Ashitaro sounded familiar. But that's awesome that Kaoru is taking in the people that were basically, if you think about it, were brainwashed by Shishio and teaching them the right path of the sword. I like, this is awesome. And by some cruel twist of fate, he, he's inherited um, Makoto Shishio's old sword, uh, Minjun Jin. <gasps> He inherited Shishio's old sword! Oh my god, please don't make Ashitaro a, a villain! I want to see these swords work side by side. Similar to... God, I've been mentioning Kintama a lot today. It, between my Magi video and this one. Um, like in Kintama when uh, Shinsuke... Remember, Shinsuke... If you've read or watched Kintama, you know about the fight between Shinsuke and Gintoki. It's similar to that. But like... Now, in where we're at in the manga, or fuck, throughout this final arc, they've been fighting side by side, so I'm hoping that's the case here. The two of them tried to escape in the chaos, but the girls um, managed to move, let us out. Um, Akibeko's specialty, Ashikura <laughs> Manju, girl fortification. Yahiko, go convince the police to step down. Got it. I'll stop Ashitaro. <gasps> we're missing catching in action! Ashitaro! Calm down, Ashitaro. Move, mister. Lower your sword. I didn't do anything. I ain't gonna let them take me away. Get out of my way. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god. Ashitaro, Kenshin. Flames just came out of the blade. Holy shit! Was that a trick or some sort of mechanism? Mechanism? Was that? Yeah, I've only heard tell of it, but there's no mistaking of the, mistaking that. That technique belonged to Kenshin's greatest, strongest foe, the Demon Lord of Flame, Mikado Shishio. I remember that. Oh my God! First secret sword, blaze. Oh my God! I okay. I gotta talk about this panel on page 33, if, especially if the shit gets animated. You, whoever's going to be animating this, if this does get an anime, you better do this fucking page right, because there's been a problem with, like, black auras and shit lately in anime, and I just fucking can't stand it, so I have to bring it up. But look at this. Look at that image of Shishio just coming out. Oh, and look how dark this aura is. It's like Shishio has possessed Ashitaro. Oh, my God. First secret sword, blazing soul. Um, translation no, uh, Ichi no, um, he can, uh, Homorodama. Yaiko. The Sakbato, give it to me. Move! Stop Ashitaro, catch Kenshin. Yes! Hinton, um, Mitsurugi. Oh my god, this is only the first chapter! Twin Dragon! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is only the first fucking chapter! Holy shit! Flash! Oh my god! Ow, 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 ow! I held back as best I could. I hope he's okay. Ow, ow, ow! I can't believe anyone can take the full um, brunt of that blow and manage to get away with merely an owie. But I feel like Ashitaro, and I think that's why they showed the image. Part of me thinks uh, of Shishio. Like, there's a couple things. A couple reasons why the image of Shishio came up. One reason, 
this is what Kenshin, like, Kenshin saw, just literally was reminded of Shishio, and, and that's just what he saw. Or two, the sword took possession of Ashitaro. I feel like it's the latter, because we've seen sword, like, I've seen it in books, we've seen it in manga, where the sword, where the sword, especially in um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Stardust Crusaders, where the sword will take possession of its owner. And I feel like this is what's going, I feel like this is might be what's going on with Ashitaro, like, because his eyes look like he was being possessed. So I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys think that Ashitaro was possessed by the sword? Or do you think it was just Kenshin just being reminded of his fight with Shishio? I really think it, it he's get he got possessed by the sword. But again, we don't know if Ashitaro used the sword before. Um, Kenshin and the others uh, kowtowed to the police, kowtowed to the police officers, and convinced them to reconsider the uh, matter. They won't be as kind the next time around. They said. Are you trying to go back to the evil Ashitaro you once were? I remember, I fucking remember Ashitaro now. Like, it took me a minute, but it was at the end, it was at the end of the arc. Like, we saw him fought, we, we saw him before he fought uh, Xi Xiao. I remember him now. Like, barely, but I remember who Ashitaro is out. I know, it just took me a minute. Now what do we say? What now? What do we say? I'm sorry. And what about thank you? You little <laughs> like I can say thank you after getting clobbered like that. He looks to be fine. I see that hurt like hell. Oi, my sword! Where's my sword? Ashitaro, you're volatile, um, volatile, prone to giving yourself over to fits of passion and rage. Ash, Ash and if um unsavory tendencies come to roost in those empty places ashitaro is still wait sorry ashitaro is still lacking and if unsavory tendencies come to roost in those empty places he might just become a befitting successor to the evil swords evil or former owner do not draw that blade if you do you will have to you'll have me to answer to i think kenshin is seeing i think based on what kenshin is saying I think Ashitaro, like, when he, he's enraged and impassioned and shit, that's, he'll, um, he, I think Ashitaro got possessed by the sword. He, I, it sounds like it, especially from what Kenshin says. And he needs, and Ashitaro needs a lot of mental, like, ser seriously mental training, and in a way physical training, to boot. Because Ashitaro has to control his emotions. And I think that's what's going on, what's going to have to happen here for in order for Ashitaro to use, to master that sword. He has to do it. We're back. Hello, everyone. We talked it over. Misashi, um, Miss Asasi. Yeah, Asasi uh, Kubota here. From um, today forward, she'll be um, one of us here at the Kamiya Dojo too. Yay! I knew that was, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Thank you so much. Where's your thanks? Nope, still not saying it. For the record, I was against it. She absolutely refuses to reveal anything about her past or origins. That stuff is a maiden secret, right? Right. Kenji, kid, you're not a maiden. <laughs> oh, by the way. You know she can't read or write. Why, you, really? That's unexpected. Alan, teach her. Sure, th sure thing, piece of cake. But no one ever bothered to teach me. Aww. He'll be joining us, Ash he'll be joining us, Ashitaro. I don't need, need to learn that stuff. And Kenji, too. Uh, am I really on the level of, of these two? Oh, Alan's gonna teach him how to read. And you have to deal with it, Ashitaro. Ashitaro, shut the fuck up. You just, you heard what those mofos said back at, uh, back at the restaurant. They said that if you can't read or write, then you have no control over it. And you're, you're an idiot. So just freaking do it. Everyone's got a thing or two in their past that, that they'd rather not talk about. Here we don't pry. Let's start anew all of us happily and harmoniously. Aww. 
Well, despite everything that happened with Asahi, the real problem's this thing. I thought it was hers, but she said it's not, and she's never seen it before. So it belongs to the um, two that fled, I take it. There's no way I'll be able to figure out what it is by just thinking about it. Let's open it. What? What? It's just a regular old photo. Well, not a regular one, but nothing too weird. Look, Kenshin, this guy's making a weird face. Expression aside, not often does one shoot a portrait and scenery in the same photograph. This man most likely jumped into the frame as the picture was being taken. He seems quite a happy man, Kaoru. Father! Father? Oral? Spring, Hokkaido, Hokkaido, um, Koshijiro Kamiya. Koshijiro Kamiya? A man that supposedly died in the Southern War is, is alive in the North? What? Wow! But then why hasn't he come home? No, there must be something uh, keeping him keeping him there. Father, you're alive! Father, oh my God! But we can look into this another time. Kaoru, let's go meet him. If my father-in-law, if Koshijiro is still alive, I'd love to go pay my respects. Yep, I want father to meet both you and you and Kenji. Let's go to Hoka uh, Hokode, Hokkaido. At that very moment, Regiment 5, Company 2, form up. Hok Hokkaido, Hok um, Hokkaido, perfect prefecture, uh, uh, prefecture. Hokkaido, um, Hachiman Shrine. We move out at dawn. Isn't this sort of stuff normally the jurisdic uh, jurisdiction of police? Yeah, except the police squad got wiped out, so it's our turn. Well, even police have honor, so we got backup coming with us, but I can't believe that. Oh my god, it's him! The I sent one guy! Our targets are the rebel scum camped at the top of uh, Mount Hakodate. Dead or alive, take them down. A new threat roars in the north. Roni Kenshin, a Meiji swordsman's romance Hokkaido arc to be continued in November's issue. Wow! What a way to start this arc! Wow! Okay, couple things. One, I'm curious. Do you guys think Sonosuke is coming back at all? I I hope Sonosuke comes back. I miss Sonosuke. We need him to reunite. Hold on a second. Hokkaido. Hokkaido. Who do you th do you think that that's? Do you think? No. Do you think Koshijiro is at the mountain? Hold on a second. It just says Hokkaido. Hold on. I want to look at this picture. It's at the. Hold on. And then let's look at the shrine again. I wonder if Koshijiro is in the north. In, in the mountain, at Mount, Hok uh, Hok Mount Hokkaido, Mount Hok um, Hokkaido, 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 there we go, Mount, Hok ha ah, Mount Hokkaido, I think that's where he is. But what did you guys think of this chapter? I love that Alan's here, I really do. I love Alan, and I love that Ashitaro's here. I I love that Ashitaro's here too. And the thing that I think that I think it's really fascinating about the sword, because remember he has Shishiao's sword. I think it's fascinating that when he was fighting with it, that he literally became possessed by that sword. He fucking did. There's no doubt about it. Like we and we got to the Kenshin fight this chapter. Oh my god, this chapter is awesome, but I really like what they're doing at the dojo. That 
they're accepting anyone that comes and they don't give a fuck about the past because this is where you start with a clean slate for anyone that wants to learn the art of the sword. I really love how this chapter went. I really hope Sonosuke comes back. And I do love the side about Sonosuke. That shit was funny as hell. But I do hope Sonosuke comes back. I'm very curious what you nerdigans thought of this chapter. What do you guys think of the start of this freaking arc? What a way to start this arc, guys. Wow. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there is a few ways you can do that. You can donate to my PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All those links are in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel for me on PlayStation Network. All that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!